Good morning, stars. Abrielle here. And I'm Maru. Stay tuned for the Tuesday news. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. It's a B4 day for special area classes. The academic team will be hosting Skyle's test later tonight. Let's, Let's go, go, stars! Every Tuesday, we learn something about your brain. Today, we are learning about self-regulation. Self-regulation is learning to control your emotions. Your brain can make it harder or easier to do this. The more you practice, the better you get controlling your emotions. Make sure not to lose control of your emotions, but it's okay to cry or get mad sometimes. Watch the video, watch the video after the pledge to learn more. Time for birthdays. Let's wish a very happy birthday to... Skylar Cooper. L. D'Alessandro. Ellie Everett. Dominic Hilton. Andrew Kovach. Tommy Reedy. Elliot Short. And our very own Miss Neenoggle. Happy birthday, stars! What time is it? It's time for lunch. Today we can have homestyle chicken and noodles with a roll. Or you could choose mozzarella sticks. The side are mashed potatoes. And cucumbers with tomatoes. Sounds, Sounds yummy. yummy! We have a great joke for you today from Marley and Miss Neenoggle's third grade class. Why didn't the skeleton go up to the haunted house? Because he did not have the guts. That was amazing. We need more jokes. Send us all your best jokes and make sure they make sense. Remember to put your name, grade, and teacher's name on it. Or you can use the mailbox by the library or type it and send it to abetvjokes at gmo.com. Looks like our time is up. Mrs. Cox's third grade class is leading the pledge. Have a fantastic, fantastic day, day, stars. Hi, my name is Caroline. Hi, my name is Adair. Hi, my name is Abby. Hi, my name is Remy. Hi, my name is Elo. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello learners, this is your brain. It's a decision-making, emotion-feeling, language-processing, silly face-making, hard-working factory. And just like a factory, it has many sections that perform different jobs. There is so much going on inside your head, so why don't we go and take a tour of your extraordinary brain. The actual brain sitting inside your head is a grayish pink color, but we're going to color code this image of the brain to highlight the different sections. Our first stop is the brain stem. This connects directly to the spinal cord and is responsible for involuntary actions. That means all of the things our body does without us thinking about it. Things like our heart rate, our breathing, and our digestion are controlled by the brain stem. Moving up, we have the amygdala. The amygdala is a small region deep inside the brain and is where you feel your emotions. So if you're happy or angry or silly or scared or embarrassed or excited, your amygdala is helping you figure that out. Our next section is located deep inside the center of the brain. It's shaped funny and it sounds funny. This is our hippocampus. Our hippocampus is where we store and locate our memories. So if you can remember what you had for breakfast this morning, you have your hippocampus to thank. Next, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum is a small region located in the rear of the brain. It helps us move and balance. Now we get to the top of the brain, the cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest section of our brain, and that's great because it has got a lot of work to do. The cerebrum helps us to listen, speak, see, and think. Lastly, we come to the prefrontal cortex. It's located in the front of our brains, right behind our forehead. This is where we use logic and think critically. 
The prefrontal cortex is the section we use to make smart decisions. All of these sections may specialize in different things, but they work best when they work together. Now, I've got a challenge for you. Which regions of the brain would be working together if you were talking to your friend and riding a bike? Can you find the two regions that could work together? Let's see. Your cerebrum would help you listen and speak, while your cerebellum would help you balance. Let's try another. What if you were trying to recall something your teacher said while you chose something to eat? Can you find the two regions? Your hippocampus would help you recall the memory, and your prefrontal cortex would help make the decision to have a healthy snack. See, it's all about teamwork. Knowing how this incredible factory works will help you unlock your full potential. The different sections of your brain are all responsible for important things. And with practice, you can control how they work together. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the brain today. Be sure to stay curious and learn more about the amazing things your brain can do.